Today we see in the gospel, our Lord arrives at the city of Nain, just outside the gates. And as he arrives, there's a funeral procession. And they're carrying the bier with the body of the widow's son. And the widow, the mother, is in great sorrow. And our Lord notices and is moved to mercy. As they say, there's probably... No greater sorrow that a human person can experience than a mother who loses her son. And so here we have a mother who loses her son and it's her only son. And she's also a widow. She's already lost her husband. So we can imagine the extent of her sorrow was enormous. And so our Lord is moved to mercy at the sight. And being moved to mercy... He chooses to work this miracle to raise the boy from the dead and to give him back to his mother. Now we see in this gospel, the widow, the woman, the mother, she's a figure in two ways. She's a figure, first of all, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother of sorrows, who herself was a widow St. Joseph having already died at the moment of the crucifixion and being a widow having lost her son in the most cruel manner. And Our Lady, being immaculate, her heart being full of grace and having an immaculate nature, was more sensitive, of course, than any other mother. And so she felt this sorrow more than any other mother could. Furthermore, the sorrow felt normally corresponds to the degree of love. And no one loved, there is no mother who has loved her son as Our Lady loved hers. And Our Lady loved her son not only as a natural son, but also as her God. And so when we consider the sorrow of, in Our Lady's heart, again, it, it's unimaginable. We can't imagine. That's the sword that pierced Our Lady's heart. And so God the Father, having looked upon His beloved daughter, had mercy. And as the Gospel says today, and He gave Him to His mother, raised His only begotten Son from the dead, and gave Him back to His mother. As tradition holds, our Lord first appeared to the Blessed Virgin Mary after his resurrection and gave that first joy to her Immaculate Heart. Now the second way in which this woman is a figure is she's a figure of the Church as well. The Church who is in great sorrow, Holy Mother Church, in great sorrow at seeing her dead sons and daughters. It is those children of hers who are living in mortal sin. And so the church cries out and intercedes for those sons and daughters who are in sin. And our Lord has mercy at seeing that sorrow and that lamentation and that intercession. And so then he goes and touches those souls with his grace, enlightening their minds, enabling them to see the misery of their own state, moving their hearts towards a sincere contrition and repentance, and eventually bringing them back to life again, infusing his grace once again into their soul and giving them back to Mother Church to serve the church in a meritorious way. And so today we give thanks for Holy Mother Church who intercedes for us, all of her sinful children, really, 
and obtains grace for us that we may have supernatural life and continue in our service of her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.